Greetings, fellow truth seekers. My name's Chubbs, and I invite you to join me as I peel back the layers of the facade most people mistake for reality. One of my faithful subscribers requested that I... I'm not going to talk like this anymore, that's just dumb. Okay, one of my faithful subscribers requested that I make a 3D model to demonstrate star trails and compare that to photographs taken around the world to see if they gel. I've made a basic model of the Earth tilted on its axis, which doesn't make a whole lot of difference. And the stars are basically projected onto a giant sphere. So it's not taking everything into account, of course. And the stars aren't going to be in the right place, but it will be sufficient for this demonstration. Those arrows you can see there represent three cameras, which are all facing north at this point and they're basically flat to the ground. To make the star trails I'm just layering them up and each layer is delayed by a few frames. Let's have a look at the resulting star trails from each camera. Next I'm going to rotate each camera counterclockwise. Let's see how that looks. Next I'm going to put it back to facing north but tilt each one 50 degrees so it's looking up. Okay so what we're seeing is that the closer the angle of the camera is to the Earth's axis of rotation the closer the centre of the star trail gets to the centre of the frame. Simple but not so easy to get your head around. Now time to find some photos and see if we can simulate the star trails. First I've got a photo of a famous church at Lake Tekapo in South Canterbury, New Zealand. It's famous enough that there is a 3D model of it on Google Earth, so we can use that to find exactly where and in which direction the photo was taken. Let's see how that looks. So compared to the simulation it's looking pretty close but I think we need to make it a more wide angle lens. That is very close. Next I found a photo taken from Death Valley in California. This time we know it's taken from an 18mm lens which is a 90 degree horizontal field of view. And because the star trail is in the centre of the frame we can conclude that the camera is pointing north. Once again that's pretty much identical. If anyone's got any suggestions how we go about simulating this, let me know in the comments. Well, so far the star trails definitely match the heliocentric model more than the current flat earth model, but that just means we've got more work to do. And the star trails don't take into account the other motions or parallax. So I might try to demonstrate that in a future video. 